Hello everyone, it's Biastrophic here. And I know it's been a while, but like... I'm fine- oh! I did not mean to do that, but... I currently have my stream running in my own background, so let me just turn that off. Uh, what a great way to start off again, but... Listen, I... I know that I haven't streamed for a long time, even though I said that I would start streaming again. But, like, I'm back. For real this time. And I'm gonna actually do stuff. I swear. And I'm sorry for kind of falling off the face of the earth for like three months. But today we're just gonna play some Plants vs. Zombies. A nice and relaxed game for my first stream back. Figured it would be good to just like sit there and maybe explain life, talk about that kind of stuff. Just take some plants and then. <sighs> so, first off, I would just like to say I am sorry about disappearing for so long. I meant to stream several times I forgot <laughs> and after like after that one post a few months ago where I said start streaming on Saturdays yeah I just kind of like forgot for several days which I get isn't the most reassuring thing to say but it's the truth I am just very forgetful and then with all the stuff of school starting up again. We've been doing some of that stuff. But I'm gonna try and make it a part of my schedule to consistently stream now. And not disappear for a long period of time again. Unannounced. Uh, but yeah. And also, since my new timetable, I'm really just streaming on Saturdays. I'm planning on streaming two different games over two separate one-hour streams. So I'm going to play Plants vs. Zombies for about an hour, and then I plan on taking a slight break, and then I'm going to come back and play a different game, which I haven't decided on yet. <laughs> but I just figured that way I get some time in between streaming to like just think about what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna say, just sort of like a little refreshing period, and I can come back and stream a different game for you guys. So... It's like two streams in one, except they're both half the length that I normally stream. Uh, we're just gonna... Eat a walnut. Master defense. Uh... We're just gonna add second row of pea shooters. I should also start making some lily pads, so I have something to place on water. I don't want to be left defenseless. But yeah, I figured that Plants vs. Oh, got a gift. Mini game unlocked. Uh, my favorite mini game is actually Walnut Bowling. I love that one. But yeah, I just figured I got this game ages ago and for like what a dollar, and it's been a long time since I've ever played it because I originally played on the mobile version. As I mentioned, most people probably did when they were younger. But figured it's on Steam, it's a dollar. I'll pick it up. Might have some fun with it. And so yeah, now we're here. I'm streaming again. I'm playing a game. And... Ugh. Sorry, I just feel... <laughs> it feels weird to come back after this long of just falling off the face of the earth. And like, I don't really know what to say, other than like, sorry, <laughs> but I'm gonna start streaming again, I'll try and build up my ability to speak so I can make my streams more entertaining, cause I do this partially for my own enjoyment, but I wanna make sure the streams are entertaining for you guys too. 
So, I'll do my best to make sure they're enjoyable. And also actually happen. I feel like that's probably another important part of this. I need to actually make the streams happen. But yeah, currently we're at the stage where we don't really have any good plant synergies. So I'm just building a wall of pea shooters. And just saying, well that's good enough. Because well, it's good enough. I'm gonna bolster my defenses on the plants on the river, because if I lose lily pads that's annoying. And it costs me more plant. Although I'm gonna probably want to place a wall in front of this guy. Because he's just keep go- Oh, you were not supposed to be there. But I guess we have a third pea shooter there now. Ah, uh, That's just- Walnut? Okay. And just in time. We have blocked with the attack. And now we can start adding some more powerful plants. Yeah, it's not very symmetrical, but like, if it gets the job done, then I see no harm in designing it like this. Probably. Get that money. So, yeah. Just plan on easing myself back into it, playing some stuff that's not really like... I don't know, some games are like hard to comment over. Some because there's too much going on, some that there's not enough going on. There's like a sweet spot for like, I don't have to like, worry too much about what's going on, but like, there's still enough for me to like, talk about what's going on in the game. So, Plants vs. Zombies, it's a strategy game. I have time to think about what I'm gonna say, and I also just get to plant all this stuff. So I figured it was one of the good games to get back into. Uh, so yeah, that's my piece on why I've been gone for, like, ages. Ah, uh, sorry about that. But I'm trying to make it more of a consistent thing now. You know, uh, not trying to, like, oh, this guy needs another walnut. Uh, that guy also needs a walnut, but but oh wow, it's only 200 sun. I don't I don't, I don't care about that. It's not like I wanted that sun to make more plants or anything. Place a snow pea shooter there. I need a double pea shooter. Uh, one more sun. I just need one... I need to stop this guy. Ice. Ice, baby. Uh, it's looking like this is gonna go over smoothly. But gonna keep my sun just in case something pops up anywhere. This guy should die before he can even reach them. We're gonna lose a pea shooter or two there. But what's most important is that we stop this guy. Hmm. I guess if I wanted to stop him, I also could have just placed a potato mine, but he's dead, so. And now we have the triple shooter. Get that efficiency. It's three lanes and one plant. Alright, now we gotta think carefully about what kind of loadout we want to make. I definitely want the three pea shooter because I can use them to shoot on the uh, waterlogged lanes without even needing to have them there. So, definitely want just the classic pea shooters. Cheap, easy to plan. Walnut, because you need good defense. Potato mine. The cherry bomb is a better emergency option, but the potato mine's good for setting up if you know something strong is coming your way. Snow pea, because it's useful, and lastly we do need lilies, so we can defend there. Place our sunflower here, change things up. 
So Yeah. Now we'll just be playing some Plants vs. Zombies. Till the stream is done. I feel like in the afternoon segment I am going to be playing. Oh, I forgot how to speak words. I'm going to be playing the uh, visual novel that I used to play on this channel before. You know, kind of stopped streaming for ages. <laughs> but I feel like that was a good. One. That's a good one, just because I'm familiar with streaming it, and also it's just like easy to stream because. The dialogue's there for me. I just gotta sit there, make a few witty retorts. You know, the usual. <sighs> I definitely need to work on my solo commentary. For this kind of thing, because... I'm just sitting here playing Plants vs. Zombies, and... Normally I don't talk to myself when I'm playing Plants vs. Zombies, so... I gotta find some way to, like... Spice it up. Make things more interesting. You know? A little pizzazz. A little razzle. A little bit of a dazzle, even. Keep it interesting. That guy's... That guy's not gonna die. And that means that guy's not gonna die. Oh, he might die. We'll see how it plays out. I want that. Alright. We're gonna put it here. Because this one's already gone. Come on. Yes. Just perfectly timed. Alright. So we know that one pea shooter is enough to take care of the cone heads. Which means that that... Well, that's just good knowledge to have. So I'm gonna focus on getting two three peters here. And then setting up some walnuts for all around security. Set up sort of like a. I don't even know what to describe it as. Just set it up. <laughs> now that I think about it, I should probably. After I set up this three peter, so I can get care of that zombie, I'm gonna start setting up sunflowers on the uh, river. Just so I can pop up my generation that much. We're about halfway through the level. Coming up on the first wave. <sighs> Keep some money in the bank for walnuts. And we're also going to get some snow peas. Level up that. Alright, here's the first major wave. That scuba zombie's a bit of a problem. A bit of a major problem. <laughs> ah. Damn, I can't place a mine on a lily pad. I'm not gonna lie, it's been so long that, since I played this game that I kind of forget. Okay, so it is when they're like that. So we're just gonna... Slow them down with that. Remove this. Remove this. Place back this. Now that we know what keeps those guys at bay. Walnuts. These guys can just be taken out by regular three feeders. But we need some fodder there so that these guys will die. Place one pea shooter there. And then one more walnut. Once it recharges. In the meantime, we'll get our first snow pea. Walnut here. And there we go. We just wait till we get enough for all of our snow peas. 
And we can slow down the zombies' progression. And I say we probably just save our extra for walnuts. And add some extra firepower with potato mines. Probably should have placed one here. There's a lot of zombies there, but it'll all work itself out. Snow peas are very useful for defense. I don't know about other people. I personally prefer the first Plants vs. Zombies over the second one they made. The second one has a lot more content, but I'm gonna be honest. I just really like the garden in this game. I just find it nice, quaint, even. And that's why I enjoy the first game more than the second one. Not to mention, I don't know if I could stream the second one because it's a mobile game and I don't want to go through setting all that up. Because that sounds like a pain. If I'm being completely honest. I'll play some potato mines around. These guys will be fine. Probably. Always remember, this is the most efficient lane to place pea shooters in, because they can cover half of the map here. And then two of them can just cover half of the map. And that's the level. We got the brush. Doom and boom seed co. That says bloom and doom. Uh, tangle. Funny thing. I actually forget what this plant does. <laughs> right. Pull zombies underwater. It's basically this, but on the water. Bring usual loadouts. This, this, this. Ah, uh, this. Hmm. I do like the multi-purpose use of the cherry being able to use on lily pads and ground. Because the tango creep can only be used in water, and the potato mine can only be used on land. I think I'll go with the cherry bomb, because I did have a lot of bonus sunlight last time. Just makes a good nuclear option in case something comes up. Place some sunflowers. I should be able to have two placed by the time the first zombie shows up. And I'll get the other two as time goes on. Place pea shooter. I've got three ways to go through this time, so gotta make sure our defenses are extra strong. Whew. But yeah, uh, finally back streaming after a very long amount of time. Uh, hopefully here to stay this time, because I just disappeared for a long time last time. Still sorry about that one. You know how it is. That sort of school season starting again. Things get a little bit hectic. Got to get everything planned out and make sure you're doing okay in classes. But I made it through it. And now I'm back, streaming for you guys. Well. You guys might not be the most apt term, seeing as there's like... No one here, but... It's the thought that counts of having a collective amount of people watching me. Although, if no one's watching me live, you can always catch my VODs on my YouTube channel by the same name. I'm shilling to zero people, but a shill I shall. Shill, 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 shill I sh shill. That's weird to say. But we know that these cone zombies are defeated by a single pea shooter, so we can get our three peas in here. Right. 
this point, I'm going to start planting sunflowers on lily pads to make sun production go up. Once we get some higher cost plants, I might think about planting two rows of sunflowers. Because it's not like we need our full space right now. And there's a pole vaulter. It would be a shame if we had zero walnuts and we were just going to kill him before he shows up anyways. Anyways, gotta stop this guy, so we're just going to hit him with a... Goodbye. That's why I like the cherry bomb. Just good versatility. Though, if I'm being honest, the three Peter would be more useful in this situation. But I'm not gonna have one in time, so we're just gonna plant a regular pea shooter. We've got this guy to defend this side, so we have this guy to defend this side. And we have to place our walnut line here so the three Peters can still hit the scuba zombies when they come up. Speaking of which, I imagine someone will be showing up right now. Yep. There's the suspect. Wonder what wrongdoings he has committed today. Could it be arson? Theft? Perhaps even... Tax fraud? What a dastardly criminal. It's a good thing we are here to stop him. With one walnut and a pea shooter. Pretty weak criminal, if you ask me. <laughs> but who am I to judge? I probably won't be a very strong criminal either. Never commit any criminal acts. Oh no! Another pool vaulting zombie! Whatever will I do? Speaking of which, with how this is set up, I do need to get a second pea shooter there so I can kill those things before they reach the walnut. These guys are pretty fast. So I should keep a eye out for them. Gotta collect my money. And... He's dead. Oh, money. Oh, uh, what? Oh, someone just... Someone was pretty angry. A little grunting noise. A bucket head. That's going to be a bit of a problem. They have a lot of health. So that's why I'm going to play something to slow them down. Slowing people down is pretty much the most effective way to increase the amount of damage you can do to them. Along with, you know, placing more plants. Some plant versus zombies world champion of 5,000 years this is gonna say that I'm doing it all wrong but if I get through the level at the end of the day I won this guy's taking a sweet time die <laughs> probably gonna put two pea shooters here and then layer another walnut just so I can get the overlay of damage. But I might just save some for cherry bombs in case of emergency. That's a pretty big wave. Goodbye. Always remember, if the zombies are getting too much, there's nothing the little explosives can't handle. <sighs> and the ice flowers just slow them all down for us.
Hey, old school PVC. Everyone knows putting a bucket on your head makes you a tank. Clearly. Because, like, look at how strong these mans are. They make it so far compared to everyone else. But it still is not enough. Uh. Well, that man made it enough. Uh. Then he, he died. Rest in peace. I have a lot of unnecessary sun. We'll just plant another free shooter. Walnut. Just increase that damage. I should really get a stream overlay for chat so it doesn't look like I'm talking into the void every time someone types. But eh, it works. It's your bomb. Cherry bomb. As the song goes. Man, these guys take forever to die, huh? I'm looking at you. Now die. Thank you. Alright, one last push. Final wave. Oh, that guy showed up very close. Uh, we're just gonna... There we go. Everything's fine. Just gotta wait here, mow them all down, and my sweet brains and also very mutated seeds will be protected. Like, I don't know who's making these things into existing, but like, these gotta be dangerous or something. But we got that key, and a lot of gold. Now I can visit Crazy Dave Shaw. Let's go see that guy. I did find your car key. I do know what that means. I am buying stuff. Pool clean- Pool cleaners. Garden rake. Oh, Garden Rakes only last a certain amount of levels in this game. I see. It's been a long time since I've played this game, so... Yeah, Plants vs. Zombie 2 did go very pay to win. That's why I prefer the first one. <sighs> the plants were cool, but like, it was just such a pain. It's like, look at how much you had to pay for it. Funny thing about the zombie process, sometimes it makes them come out real little. Real little and real mean. Defend your shins? Why am I- Damn. Alright, it's time to defend myself and my shins. Uh, which- Cool lane is it gonna show up from? This one has the biggest threat right now. Two zombies. Three zombies. Gotta go real fast on this one. Gotta make sure I'm getting efficient plant edge. We can hold on to this one, I think. Unless they're not gonna give me anything else. Alright, fine. I'll use it. Use this to stall, this to blow them up, another pea shooter. That jockey's a bit of a problem. Two jockeys, so I might as well. Plus <laughs> $7 per plant. Yeah, I just... I don't know, man. Even in games where you have to, like, pay to unlock stuff, Plants are zombies too, is just a lot. Make this lane more self-sufficient. 
place some plants here. When these guys show up, I might get a zombie bomb. Big cherry blast. Well, ah. Uh, now you are all aware that one of my friends is in fact playing back for blood. <laughs> it has been advertised on the large billboard of low resolution plants vs zombies. <laughs> yeah, I'll place some more pea shooters here, so. Ah, uh, my favorite plants in the game. Wintermelon, I do like Wintermelon because it's long range, it slows enemies down. One of my friends just called me gay. <laughs> uh, but as for personal favorites, I am a big fan of the mini shroom just because, you know, it's, it's just very cost efficient. It's not like a bad plant. I understand it's not good, and there's a lot of plants you can get other than it, but I just got that, that, that price. It's so appealing. The low, low cost of free. Perfect for your average broke college student. Ah, uh, we're just gonna place a bomb right there. Deal with them. Ah, uh, lily pads. It's like a walnut, but worse. <laughs> Might as well plant some plants there while we're at it. Explodinator. Explodum. Not a lot of variety in this challenge. Get them all. A huge wave of zombies. We'll see how huge it is. When I just no, okay, actually, now that's pretty big. Just disintegrate a few zombies there, a few zombies there, and jalapeno. But it was a pretty wimpy, huge wave of zombies, seeing as they died to two cherry bombs. <laughs> but you know what they say. I actually don't know what they say. But, we're gonna go with three Peter. Ah, uh, pea shooter. Snow pea. Walnut. V-box. I disagree. <laughs> plant of plant. Ah. Uh, this thing. And cherry bomb. Anyways, welcome to the stream. We are playing Plants vs. Zombies, as you can probably tell. A 40. Why are you both saying V Buck? Why are you doing this to me? I feel betrayed. <laughs> but yeah. Plants vs. Zombie Gaming. Ah. Uh. Listen, I'm gonna be honest. I got nine minutes till I end the stream. So, if you want to catch the early portion, the VOD's gonna be uploaded on my YouTube. And also on Twitch. Uh, but I'm gonna go eat my lasagna in like nine minutes. And then I'll be back in a little bit streaming something else. So, yeah. Where did you even get that Fortnite number one emote? I can see your Minecraft Steve head. It looks at me. Like it is judging me for something. Actually, never mind. No, that's just Minecraft Steve. This is just the early part of the level, so we collect sun. We collect a lot of sun. More sun. I 
And now we wait. That man's gonna take a long time to die. <laughs> Not a walnut. Uh, just gonna place this man here. Goal. Goal indeed. I, I don't know how to respond to Twitch emotes. <laughs> what do I say? Is this when normal streamers say like something about chat going wild? Out. Is this a competition that you two are having? Because you're just... Where are you guys even getting half of these? Fun to see some PVZ again. I'm off to FF14. Alright, sounds cool, yo. Uh, have fun playing Final Fantasy. I might stream that game sometime. I gotta play it at some point anyways. <laughs> uh, thank you for stopping by the stream. See you later. Zombies are here. That's a lot of zombies. Good thing I have a big bomb. It's a Zamboni. We must kill the Zamboni. The hockey players must die. You know, I'm regretting not using my cherry bomb on the Zamboni. But, uh... You live, you learn. You die a little. Why is there bobsled? Leave. Be gone, bobsledding people. Before I explode you. Too late. I explode you. <laughs> Why is there more of them? Where are they even getting these things from? Why'd they even use a Zamboni to set up a bobsled? Where did the Zamboni even get the ice from? Why is it freezing in the middle of spring? <laughs> I have so many questions and no answers. That's not preferable. We're just gonna place that there, because our defenses are temporarily weakened, as everything died. <laughs> Gotta be careful of those Zambonis, man. Sometimes you just be walking down the street and want to run over your toes, and then you'll have no foot for the next ever. Well, Zamboni, you know what that means. Goodbye. Fort one, fort- what the- what are you doing? <laughs> Fort nuts. Okay. Uh, respectfully disagree with that last statement. You know what they say. Explosives. Clash of Clans. 
I have not played that game in like 79 long years. <laughs> but anyways, that's where I'm gonna leave it off. I'll be back in like 20 minutes, maybe a bit more, streaming something else that I haven't decided on yet. Uh, thank you everyone who stopped by for the stream. I'm gonna be uploading the bottom of my YouTube channel, where my other VODs are. I'm definitely not shilling my own channel, but you should check it out. <laughs> but yeah, I forget which keybind I used to stop streaming. <laughs>